Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy 13 2 and it looks like we're supposed to be heading up there but I want to check out this gate over here first because who knows we might be able to open it with the artifacts that we have now the fragments eh, artifacts right yeah yeah sure I can't say for sure but I don't think the artifact will match this gate yeah well clearly not because the minimap says that we need to go to the top one no one okay that's fine, but before we actually head up north, let's level up a little bit. Because we have the ability to... What are we going to do? Do we want that? That... Oh, or that. I don't know, to be quite honest. I wouldn't mind getting uh, D Protecta and D Shelga. Wunga and Poisonga probably are good, too. Poison... Poison, generally speaking, has been great, and Peril is also awesome, but you already have that, so I'm not too worried about leveling that up right now. I think you'll be fine with where you are, in terms of that. I guess Ravager? You're almost done uh, with Commando, though. Well, okay. I say almost done, but pretty sure, like, after we get up to 38, Jeopardize is going to be probably, like, in the 50s, so who knows. Um, I guess we could focus that for now. Or focus this. Or, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of at a crossroads how I'm building my characters, because I have a feeling Noel's kind of, well, crap right now due to how I've spread out his levels. And Sarah's been pretty good in terms of damage. Her healing seems all right. It's the only healer we have in our team right now. Um, we could add in a monster healer, but is that worth it? I mean, probably would be. Uh, you know what? Let's just evenly level these up. How about that? There you go. You're 11 health. That's kind of surprising. And next will be Ravager. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just level them up evenly. At least until we get Ravage. You, oh, you, do, you already have Ruinga. Ruin, Ruinga, yeah. As for you, no. Um, you don't even have fire yet. I think... You're fine there with Synergist for now. I do want to level you up a little bit in Saboteur to get D-Protect. There you go. All right. Uh, I would like to get Wound and Poison with you eventually, but I'm going to go back to leveling up these things after. That being said, Customize. Do I have two Saboteurs? I don't. Well, we can do this. There you go. Do... I mean... I guess it probably doesn't matter, right? Um, alright. That, that should be fine. For now. Can I level up the Necton? I can a little bit. So yeah, let's do that. A good, good level up, I guess. Get 10%. And I don't want to use any of the good ones. I'm pretty sure this dude's not going to be staying around for the entirety of the game. You're already done. You require level 3 ones, yes? Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh head up north then. Hmm. I was trying actually to uh, clear out this map over here. It doesn't look like we can or else we'll get into a fight with the big boy. And we'll, we'll get to it later. Ooh, those leaves actually made me thought it was a hidden item for a second. Alright, so this is the gate. That's marked. Hello? Oh, hi. You guys aren't that bad. Uh, I did just fight a Sahajin. Well, I forget their actual name. Um, it was a Sahajin looking dude. Uh, nothing really spectacular happened in the fight. Though, at the end of it, he did drop six slivers, potent slivers, which is kind of dope. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a few more of those for uh, some of our grade 2 monsters that we can use. We don't need them anymore for Buttercup, but at the same time, you know, for like Necton, if we had a couple extras, I could level them up more. I'm just a little cautious because we might get like another Ravager that's just by default already better than him, who's also grade 2. Potent Droplets, those are pretty good too. But yeah, I mean, we probably already have a monster that's... Better than Necton. 150. Ravager. 
Maybe not, actually. We have actually a lot of commandos that are pretty good. Apparently, Munchkins are really uh, good early game uh, monsters. There's a Hoplite who's maxed out, but... Yeah, all right, well, let's go on to the gate. Sure. The Thundering Artifact. Are we gonna go to the Thunder Plains? Am I gonna have to dodge lightning bolts? God, I hope not. I wonder where this one goes. That's such a hard time with that in the PlayStation 4 version. PS, PS, uh, PC, not PS. But PC version, not that bad. PlayStation 2 version, not that bad either. On oh, the steps. Sure. Twelve fragments! On the surface of Grand Pulse stretches a desolate grassland. A wild place where the rule of might prevails. And the weak exist only to feed the strong. Woo! A tribe of tough, proud people live off these lands, hunting monsters for their sustenance. But now, the hunters are whispering of a fearsome newcomer to the brain. Oath Brand the Storm. To upset the precarious balance of their lives. Huh. I like how it didn't say the name, because I'm having a hard time remembering how to actually pronounce this goddamn thing's name. Roar? Ooh, maybe we can get one of those guys. Oh, no. Oh, God, what were those things called? The the or the or chews, I think they the big guy was called, but what were the little ones called? Mini chews? I need to go see Detective Pikachu, I think. What? Is this your home? Look out! That's their prey. Wow. You know, I'm desperate. Like, Wouldn't want to eat that. This one or there'll be nothing else to eat. Really? I guess you have to be a hunter to tell. I guess if I was starving, I wouldn't mind. Let's introduce ourselves. Sure. No, I'm good. What if they want to eat me? Look at that. What was it called? Prion disease. Prion disease? I, I think I used to call it Freon disease, but I think that's the AC stuff. Oh yeah, whatever the disease is called that we happens when you eat humans. People. Maybe they can tell us what's going on. Uh, probably the apocalypse. I had a guess. They need to stretch their legs. Uh oh. So you know, I'm like, who the hell is just standing here? It's one of those fluffy dudes. Is that a cactar? Oh crap. All right, I'm pretty sure you're actually just. Never mind, you're a silver lobo. How's it going, dog? I remember you from the beginning of Final Fantasy VI. Though you've been in a lot of other games since then too, but. For some reason, that one sticks out in my mind. You're a lot stronger in this game than that game, though. Please drop something good. Potent sliver. All right. Um, sure. Let's see, we can't. It is the destination point. I'm gonna go check out this cactar. And this fluffy dude. Hi, fluffy dude. Moo, indeed. Hello, Cactar. No? Okay. It's red? That probably means it's gonna be something later. I hope we get a map soon. For some reason... Ooh, Remedies. This place seems extremely big. I don't know if that's gonna be an actual thing, though. Three potions. Bah, indeed. You know, let's just go towards the quest marker for now. Who's here? Uh, apparently no one. Planes of Eternity. Nomad Camp. Alright. Uh, mana Droplets. Dope. I really like Legend of Mana. Living on the Steppe, in this harsh wilderness of the... Arkelty... Ark... Whatever step people have to help each other if they ha are to survive. This is your chance to win the acceptance of the hunters. Talk to the villagers and listen to their tales of woe, accept their requests for help, and solve their problems. And soon you'll be able to gain their trust. Boo! Easy there. Why don't we just take them over, Noel? We could do it. Hey. hey. 
Ma, you tell me if you see anything. Go, go away. Oh, lovely. How about I burn this place to the ground? Kronos, we're heroes. Sometimes. You can do it. Thank you. Okay, you, you, you're good. You just saved this whole place. Without the chocobos, we can't hunt. You have legs, don't you? Because they are. I mean, chocobos are pretty awesome. You're not wrong. We are a proud people. We used to reside on Cocoon. Oh. Well, that just explains a lot. Is the back entrance? That was a silver cactar. Uh, Alright, no treasures down here. No, were you just walking into that wall? Good job, Null. Now, we did see this treasure up here, hoping for a map. Give me a map. Gotta be a potion, isn't it? Uh, Grimoire's hat, okay. Map? 600 gil! I mean, money's good too! I'm actually surprised they haven't given me a map. Chocolina? Did I just walk by you? Oh no, you're up here. Okay. It looked, it looked like you were at the entrance for a second. How's it going? Welcome, you and you. What brings you to my fantastical shop today? Mostly just to say hi. But I guess to buy stuff too, maybe? I uh, can't get any of that stuff. This all looks the same. And yeah, you actually have not upgraded anything. Russell Green or Gasol Greens. You can make some durable stuff here. Okay. Hmm. Kill Libra. Oh. Huh. Kill Libra. Okay, so I thought that uh hat we just got was actually like a cosmetic thing, but apparently it's not. Okay. Let's go check that out then. Your business is appreciated. Yeah, well, I know. I'm the only one shopping here. Let's see. Uh, kill Libra, improve potions. Oh, shucks. I mean... It only drops my magic by five, uh, nine, and eight, no, seven, no, six. Wait, no, I'm dumb, by 14. <laughs> I can, I can count. So I don't think I'm gonna equip it. That's pretty good though, kill Libra. I'm not really sure what that does. Receives a, that makes sense, <laughs> that just, just makes sense. The improved potions sounds like it could be good. But we'll, uh, we'll have to wait on that one for now. There's nothing here? Okay. Like, no one wants to talk with me. That's fine. But for you. Examine. A strange device. Good job, Sarah. You've done it. Listen, we could do with an extra arm. I got two. Help us, and I'll give you this map. Dope. Um, oh, thank you. If you're here to hunt, find someplace else. You guys aren't exactly hauling it in. Prey getting scarce? Yes. Ever since that storm blew up, these lands were teeming with game before that. Friends went to investigate. No, that's rude, dog. Um, sure. So, you want to know what brought on the storm? My friends are out there assessing the situation, but even if I knew, I wouldn't tell anyone that wasn't a hunter. But Noel's a hunter. Don't look so surprised. She's right, you know. Really? <laughs> then you wouldn't mind if I put you to the test. I mean, you just said you were going to do that anyways. We've been getting harassed by a pack of monsters lately. Think you can get rid of them for us? I could probably tame them. A uh, goblin fragment. All right. The time flows slowly here on the Great Plains. The hunter... Tipu, er, Tipur, Tepper, uh, one of the nomads who eke out a precautious existence, precarious existence, on the plains has set Noel and Sarah a challenge. Sure. We're counting on you. 
No one knows why they appeared all of a sudden. Oh, oh time paradox. You're not just going to instantly think time travel? Over there? Can I just jump off this place? Let's go I can. We should search somewhere in this One second, stop talking. Uh, well, no one looked like they wanted to talk to me, so wow, this place is actually kind of big. This area, I guess. Grab this part over here. Boom. Assuming that's gonna be the goblins. Now here's the thing, do I... You. Oh, you're the yellow ones. We fought you guys in Urba, didn't we? I think, uh... Cylon? I actually think you're different. Because you... Maybe not. I thought I got one of the... Oh no, you're red and yellow, you're not just yellow. Come on, guys. You can break him. There you go. We get... Oh, okay. We got... <laughs> we got one! Let's go check that guy out. And we'll go to his Crystarium. So you're a Synergist. Oh, okay. You resist fire. What do you get? You get Vigilance... Oh, you got bravery. Oh, okay. And tornado. Is that all you get, though? This is vigilance. You're a late bloomer. Resist curse and bravery. I mean, probably good later on. Hello? Target located. Excuse me? Uh, oh! Hi, Chocobo! I got really confused for a second. I hope we catch the Chocobo. Oh, we can get a Chocobo! I'm gonna name it Boko! Hopefully we get it. I'm not sure if we can actually, like, tame anything here. Do we have any feral links up? Hold up real fast. We do have one feral link. Yeah, um... Yeah, it's Commando though. Gonna have to... Oh. His feral link's almost up. We gotta kill it with it, though, don't we? Don't kill him! Don't kill him! You didn't kill him! <laughs> you son of a gun! Oh, he attacked the wrong one. We got him! We got him! Oh, yeah! Okay, I'm glad we came here. I don't even care about helping the hunters. I'm just glad we got that Chocobo. Wait, we might not be able to actually name him Boko. God damn it, game. We got a goblin and a Chocobo. And a Chocobo's plume. Dope! Let's go check out You've Defeated the Goblins. Okay, we got two commandos. We got late bloomer. We got a lot of health, actually. What do you have? You have blitz. You have power chain. You start with qua. Uh, <laughs> and rune makes sense. Okay, so you're a late bloomer, so you probably go a long way. You're an early peeker. What do you start with? You got ATB charge. Goblin Rush and Attack and Rune. Good launch. Only Grade 1. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Oh, ATB Charge 2. Ooh. I'm not really exactly sure how... Infusions work. Like, I know... I'm, I'm assuming... It probably told me this, too, that when I infuse someone, the monster goes away. Yes. That's kind of basic, right? Um, but can I only do it to, like, 
Say I wanted to do this dog. Get ATB charge two on Buttercup up here. Wherever Buttercup is. Yeah, right there. So I do that. Thing disappears. Buttercup gets ATB charge two. Now say I come down here and be like, I want to put strength 16% onto Buttercup as well. Would I be stopped from doing that because I've already infused it with one? I mean, I kind of want to give Buttercup uh, ATB charge too. Hmm. It's tempting. Oh, we didn't. Did we even check out the Chocobo? We didn't check out the Chocobo. I mean, yeah, we did. Never mind. You have strength 10%. Resist win. Yeah. Probably not going to use them, but oh, can I can I name you Boko? Probably not. Let's see. Oh, again. There you go. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go back to the town. We probably want to explore this entire region. Uh, being said, though, I want to grab any quests that I can. So I'm not going back and forth constantly. I guess we enter the part of the town where it's like, no monsters allowed. Hello, Mr. Man. I killed the goblins and I tamed one. You took care of those little monsters. In a way. I have to hand it to you. You're stronger than you look. Thanks for dealing with that little problem. No problem? Say, can I ask you another favor? You're gonna anyways. Some of my people are in desperate need of wool. Why don't you go and talk to the folk over there? They'll fill you in. Okie dokie. I mean, there's a lot of sheep around here. So, was there actually a new person to talk to? Nope, that is Chocolina. I heard you took care of our monster infestation problem. I'm impressed. I mean, it wasn't that bad. You've proven yourselves. I have it wasn't even an infestation. It was like three goblins, a flan, and a chocobo. I need help collecting wool from the sheep wandering the plains. Uh, sure. Woolly stone. Just go up to them and grab it. Why not? I appreciate whatever you can do to help. You'll come across some sheep bigger than the others. They're the ones you want. They have the best wool. These sheep are adorable. All right. So you talk to again? Once you gather enough wool. Okay. Now nah, I was just I was just checking. Normally, uh, that icon goes away. Okay, so it still looks like no one around here wants to talk aside from those two people That's fine Let's head on out and we'll go ahead and is anyone else worried about these gigantic monsters flying over the top? You guys have anti-aircraft missiles or anything like that? I feel like we should shoot them. Hi big guy Your wool is mine Poor wool or sheep I'm sorry. I don't mean like I would use I don't know a blade or something to cut it off of you, and not pull it out like a goddamn savage. Who? Oh, you're a goblin? Are you a goblin? If you're a goblin, I'm gonna level up that early bloomer, dude. Oh yeah, clearly. Okay, that's fine. That makes my life way better because I wasn't sure if those monsters were gonna be like. Uh, just quest specific So now I can level up that goblin we have and fuse him to to buttercup and mums the word Let's do that. Let's definitely do that Yeah, cuz ATB charge would probably be really good for buttercup To be fair it'd probably be pretty good for everyone Like, straight up, just everyone. Not even just Buttercup, like, every monster that I'm using. Four remedies, wow. Okay, let's come in here real fast. Actually, you know what? Let's get that wool real fast. Where are you? Where the hell'd you go? The dude... You son of a... Come here. Oh, no, I'm coming. I'm coming for you, dog. Now, screw off, goblin. Give me that. Excuse me. 
Yoink! Fake wool. All right, now we come in here. We go down to Goblin Town. Now you're level or grade one, so we should be able to do this. And you're an early peeker, so assuming level twenty is like the strongest you go. ATB eight. Oh, I thought that said ATB charge three. I was gonna be like, yo, dog. Excuse me. And you know what? Here. Okay. So now... You probably didn't need to level them up to full, but I wanted to. Um, you're not that bad either. Let's infusion. Consume a monster crystal to infuse the monster. Okay. Okay. No, we need to go to Buttercup and do that. Here. Level 20 Goblin will be consumed by Buttercup level 15. Monster can have up to 10 passive effects. Yeah. I can't do ATP charge. Oh. Really? Ah. Fudge. Well, I just wasted a bunch of materials. All right, Goblin. Looks like you're not being ate by Buttercup today. Or maybe I'll just do it anyways, just to make my feel feel better. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, well, you have my video so I can check out some of the content. See so if you're liking. If you're watching me live stream on Twitch.tv slash Chronos, please give my channel a follow to notify when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.